Hey guys, MZ here, and welcome back to Trigger Happy Havoc, Dangan Runpa. Now, last episode we, um. Wait. Got a hair in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Bad thing about owning animals, you know? You, their friggin' hair gets everywhere, and. Ugh, never fails. You're trying to do something, and what happens? You find a hair in your mouth. Anyways, guys. In the last episode of Danganronpa, we had our little meet and greet. We um, got to know a little bit about the students. Um, this guy here, he's uh, he's a yeller, and so is this guy. And and his pants, his pants will probably never stop making me, I don't know, question life. But anyways, she's nice. She's an enigma. She's a fighter person who kind of wants to kick our butt, and she's a fashion uh, uh, fashionista that's it but anyways <laughs> enough with the recap guys let's uh, get into it we are supposed to head out of this area and we are supposed to go <clears throat> over here you guys have to forgive me I've been talking a lot today trying to get everything just so with the recordings and and trying to get everything up and running, so I've kind of fried my voice just a little bit, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little more hoarse sounding than usual. I'll try not to yell at you guys too much. We're supposed to head in here, and we're supposed to have our big meet and greet, and uh, we're supposed to... <laughs> we're supposed to meet with the headmaster, I believe, for the uh, entrance ceremony. Alright, uh... Frickin' Mondo and his choice of words, jeez. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. And why is... why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, hey where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, I shall go too. Wow, I don't know if you guys heard that, but he just let out this ear-piercing scream. Dear God. Uh, thinking of the uh, uh, volume levels and everything in this game, I'm pretty much going to try and limit it just to long sessions where they actually talk. Um, it's kind of difficult for me to do the, uh, the background music, the voice acting, and hearing my voice. Um... <clears throat> trying to get it all done proper there's always somewhere that's lacking so I'm trying to do this where it's just when when we have the big blocks of them talking that's when everything's gonna be covered until then sorry guys you're stuck with my horrific voice acting <laughs> Yamada God, drives me nuts hey wait don't leave me here all alone all right time for some tutorial action all right tab key to observe the room Observe, take notice. Huh. Cool. Uh, I can dig that. I kind of feel like these three are only here to kind of move the plot along, so we're going to ignore them for the moment. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Huh. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. See? Told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh my goodness, that was kind of freaky. Huh? Uh, 
teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. Oh, really? I am Monokuma! Wow, you're extremely, I don't know, happy? And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What was I... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Fucking your mother. That teddy bear can talk. Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. <laughs> He's getting pissed. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I am your headmaster. Damn it, Yamada. It's, this is supposed to be serious and you're ruining it. Haha, <laughs> It moved. Seriously. Calm down. It's probably just a remote controlled toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench. My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Uh, but don't make me say stuff like it might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on. We really must get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. I like how they pop back and forth, that's funny. Everyone, stand at attention and bow, and... Good morning. Good morning! You don't have to say it back. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together, solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say until the day we die? Yeah. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. <laughs> oh man. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? I love that. I really love that face. I really, really enjoy how animated these characters are. Although, honestly, I really wish her bunny rabbit and her, I don't know, what is that, a hairpin? A hair needle? Something? I really kind of wish that thing would, uh, uh, like, express emotion. So if she's upset, it would be, it would kind of like have little eyebrows or something that would point down or, like, its eyes would change shape or something, so it would seem upset as well. Just that I think that would really be the like the the icing on the cake for her character. Uh maybe I'm overthinking it a little too much. I still think it'd be cool though. Screen with us, right? <laughs> Freaking Monokuma. 
You know, his little belly button is honestly tripping me out right now. I can understand the whole evil bear, not 100% evil bear thing he's got going on. Well, like crazy and crazier, but the belly button, the whole little mini stomach thing he's got going, that's just bizarre. But then again, who knows, maybe I'm just overthinking it again. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that you can be 100% sure. And just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. <laughs> Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out, it isn't funny anymore. <clears throat> you keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Really? What is with the flower coming out of his armpit? That, that, that boggles my mind every time. <clears throat> As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... Murder? Yes, Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that gets your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's... it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. <laughs> we know what it means, that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? 
Damn it, Yamana. I think that's... I feel bad for his voice actor, because the Say What has been his only bit of voice acting for probably the past, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? Ooh. Blabbering? Blabbering? What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! Uh-oh. We made it mad. How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen. From this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it. And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Alright, come on, how long are you going to keep this up? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick. Yeah, cause, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? You mean like your hair? Ooh, shots fired. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, he's powering up. He's going he's going DBZ on him now. Mondo roared out and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Oh, dang. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Uh-oh. Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Dang. Uh-oh. He's beeping. What? No smart-ass comeback this time? Nope, still beeping. Stop that gun beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it! Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? That sure shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever. <clears throat> but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But you know this means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Oh shit, he's back. There's another one? You son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, of course. Yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school's regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time. But you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. So does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yeah. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, 
right. And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate our joyous entry into the school, I have a little something for you. Him and his little armpit flower. Seriously, what the hell? This is your official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. You can tell Makoto's not impressed. Ahem. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulation will not be tolerated. Rules are strict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be in utter chaos without laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our ah. ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya. Freaking creepy ass bear, what the hell? And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. <coughs> so, guys, how would you define? <coughs> see me. How would you define what we just experienced? Aside from crazier than shoot. How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We we have to live here forever or c kill? What just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... If we want to get out alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... What? <laughs> Oh god, Yamada, you, your stupid noises. We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed in this place meant to look like a school. Now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, no one had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I look around at the others. <clears throat> they all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? <clears throat> and that was how my new school life began. The school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Hmm. Welcome to despair. Interesting. Alright. <clears throat> so, oh, we get a surviving student counter. Crud. I kind of hope we can keep that really high. 
Well, we got some stuff going on here. All right. Sorry about that. I wasn't sure if that whole opening theme was, like, copyright or if, if somebody was going to throw a hissy fit if I had it in here. So, just cut that part out. But, I received a school crest present. I have no idea what to do with presents, but I'm sure I will find out eventually. <clears throat> And do I want to save? Uh, yeah, we'll go. Alright, so we saved, and now we're back. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me. <clears throat> Man, I can understand how he feels, jeez. <clears throat> Sorry guys, winter's coming to an end, and now all the humidity and stuff is kicking in. It's kicking my butt. <clears throat> the air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1. To survive. Oh, sorry. To survive daily life. But for as heavy as the air felt... All it took to pierce it was her sharp words. <clears throat> so, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just standing around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. Right! She's right! Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Wow. Uh, we've we've just found the um, uh, weirdo of the group. Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However, perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid idiot. To look for a way out, duh. And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear. Beat the hell out of him. But, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations, Monomoke. Or Monomoke. Wow. Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. And her freaking German accent comes through at like the worst times. It's like. Oh my goodness. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright. So then... Fine. Let's just... Let, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. She's somewhere, to me, being a fashionista, she's somewhere between, like, a, a cliché valley girl and... I don't know, your average mall-goer. Avid mall-goer. No offense to those people, they're cool, but she just strikes me as one of those people that spends all her time window shopping and not actually buying anything. Anyways, after turning on my handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen, it was school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school, leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. At least he warns them. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. <clears throat> Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Hmm. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. 
Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not going to let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. <laughs> I love that oh shit look. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. So what? I love that. Just, that's just the ring her voice had for a second. I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Wait a sec. But keeping the promise might mean you have to die. But if you die, you can't keep the promise? Uh, dude, my head hurts. Piece of shit. So I can't afford to die in here. Yeah, because you have to go die somewhere else to keep a promise. What the hell kind of logic is that? None of that made any sense to me, but you're saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. It says... <coughs> it says that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. So, he's, I don't know, he's kind of all over the board, and she looks like she could kill somebody right now. Just don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly chunk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need answers. Let's do it! Damn straight! Okay. Now let's start looking around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Throat clutched up there. You know, there's so many freaking voices, it is so hard to keep half of them straight. Ugh. I'm gonna warn you right now, probably one of my favorite characters, I'm gonna remember the name. <laughs> I'm gonna remember how I'm voicing them. <laughs> I'll be going alone. What? what? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst to make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... Don't bother saying anything. Saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. Am I wrong? Uh, um. Right? Just, but, but, uh, hmm, uh, or I, uh, you know full well that's what she's doing. I mean, look at her face. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? The fuck's that supposed to mean? One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. You're using big words that I don't like. Sorry. Stop it, we shouldn't be fighting. What? You just say, you some kind of goody goody little bitch. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my freaking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry, fuck you! 
you could you could imagine that's what he's doing. He's probably hitting the hole. Well, I mean, look at his hands. Look where his hands are. He's just ah! you you know he's just out of he's he's what it is is he's pissed off because there's nothing he can do about the situation. So he's just gonna vent his anger on the next person that says something he mildly doesn't agree with. Ow. And that just happens to be us, Naegi Makoto. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, but before it finally cut out. No, sorry. And then it finally cut out. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Hmm. And where, pray tell, are we? Hmm. Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? Now I have access to the handbook. Alright, sweet. We have got the handbook menu. Open the handbook by pressing the F1. Use this menu. Check out regulations, report cards, truth bullets. Hmm, that should be interesting. Also, save and load the game. Oh, sweet. Finally, the F2 for transcripts. Just in case I miss something, I can review it. That's pretty cool. Alright, so. Let's see if we can not get knocked out again here in the next 10 minutes. That'd be great. This must be the key to the room. It's name written on... My name's written on the keychain. Nice, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. All right. What? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, where the hell's my cursor at? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome. So, <clears throat> so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. Oh, and the boys, a tool kit. Oh, cool. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Wow, that's that's fucked up. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. That is so jacked up. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be freaking great. Ah, that's that's actually really freaking creepy. Alright, so let's check out a bathroom. Uh, or not, I guess. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. It can't be locked, dude. It doesn't have a lock on it. Yeah, well, maybe it's jammed. I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it later. Notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Oh, that's cool. What do we got here? Looks like there's something in the drawer. Our toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. Oh, nice. So at least we're not using, you know, old murder tools. Just saying. I don't really need this right now, so I'll just leave it there. Yeah, it's probably for the best. <clears throat> nice little bed. What is that thing on the floor here? Some kind of lint roller? I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. That's a huge lint roller. I honestly have never seen one quite that size before. Alright. Looks like the door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand this room must be... 
Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Oh, so at least after they knocked your ass out, they put you in your room so that way you wouldn't get in trouble. That's always nice of them. My assigned room, someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Yeah, so let me out. Leave the area. Yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Bang! Dude, really? Uh-oh. Oh, we bumped into a lady. Whoa. Uh, Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Aw, she cares about us. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Aw, look at that. The door's got her little name on it there and everything. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscles jumping up and down on stage. Well, that's good, then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? <laughs> that's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Aw, she's worried about us. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Well, that's good. I was kind of worried. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. <clears throat> you came to get me? Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each have found. Oh. So, does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. good. <clears throat> I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Wow. Alright, there's frickin' Mondo's room. Jerk. Just knocked me right out. Aw, oh, he's got a little, a little snakehead picture on there. And there's Taka. And there's Kyoko. She's the cold, distant one, right? I think. There's me. Aw, oh, Sayaka's room is right next to mine. Oh, isn't that cute? Byakuya. Junko. Oh, yeah, Byakuya. I remember his freaking name reminds me of uh, Bleach. Byakuya Kuchiki. The guy kind of acts the same, too. There's Toko, a little manic, depressive girl. Chiro, the nerd. Celeste, the quote-unquote Japanese girl. Aoi. Sahu. Sakura. She kicked my ass. Oh, there's Leon. Yeah, Yasuhiro. And finally, Hifumi. Freaking Hifumi. What is this? Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. Oh, gee. Thanks for the, uh... Alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's get going. <clears throat> alright. Where do I need to... Whoa. Laundry. Let's, let's see. That's all blocked off. Um, dining hall. What do we got going on in the dining hall? Hopefully some... Whoa. This must be the dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Or, I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Okay, let's just wait here. Uh, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> like I said, I'm psychic. Yeah, sure, you're psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? I don't think it is. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Oh, jeez, another one right now. I'd like to talk about reactions. 
You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, I guess so. I mean, I guess I could talk to her. While you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. Purple words show up if you press the right mouse button, you get reaction mode. At this point, you can use the lost keys to make selections and the left mouse to confirm. Also, when it comes to dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Ah, have you... have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Hmm. What all do we got here? We got... What's that? Another busted... yeah, another busted clock. Seven o'clock at night. Oh, it's not busted. You just can't see the hands. Okay. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. <clears throat> Is that another freaking surveillance camera? Hate the idea someone might be watching me. I'm not allowed to mess the cameras, so I better make sure not to touch it. Oh! I got a coin. Okay. Anything, aside from her, is there anything else around here I can interact with? No, not really. Alright, let's talk to her. See what she's got to say to us. By the way, Makoto. Hmm? What is it? Well, it's just... I know this is kind of... Continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to talk, to ask you about something. Um... Uh, let's continue the self-introduction thing. Cause she kind of had something she wanted to say to us before, until Taka interrupted us. The jerk. Continuing our self-introductions? We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Uh, so why did it kick me out of the conversation, Damn it. Wait. Huh? Just, uh, continue self introduction. Alright, I want to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four, though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange, that's... She started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Oh, so we got ourselves a love interest going on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. No, actually, he is really kind of freaking boring. And he gets punched. <laughs> oh, man. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. You're the one that helped me find my courage again, not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for <clears throat> Excuse me, wrong, wrong voice, wow. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Uh oh. Assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it, it just gets me pumped up. Oh, jeez. Really? I can't believe no one's here yet. But 
but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad, I was sure I beat everybody here. Guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. Oh god, he's one of those too. That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Wow. Oh boy, Doc is gonna take this over. Anyways, guys, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna stop it here. My voice is freaking killing me. Oh man. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope you guys don't mind my horrendous voice acting, and I hope you enjoyed this episode so far. So, uh, until next time, guys. Take care of yourselves. I hope you have a good day and goodbye.